Hi, my name is Vince. I'm from the UK and thanks very much for clicking on my video. I'm guessing you're interested in nicotinamide mononucleoside or NMN as it's more commonly known. Trust me, both of them are difficult to pronounce uh, and also longevity. So on the 22nd of April 2019, I'll be 55 and I intend to start a course of NMN and to record um, how my experiment goes. This isn't the first thing I've tried with regard to losing weight and living a healthy lifestyle. Uh, and in this short video, I hope to show you and explain to you what I've done so far. So I'm making this series of videos to record my NMN experience. So I can look back on it, I can see whether or not it's, it's been worth um, it's been worth doing. I'm also doing it so that others can look at my experience either now or in the future uh, and hopefully it will inform them too. So I'm guessing that if you're watching this you're interested in longevity, either lengthening your life or making what life you do have left as rewarding as possible. So how or why did my longevity journey start? Um, it started when I entered my early 50s. I noticed a, a marked deterioration in my standard of fitness, um, specifically my stamina. So I joined the army when I was 17, and as part of that, I obviously have to re remain um, fairly fit. When I retired 22 years later, um, keeping fit had become a habit, so I was more than happy to maintain it. I was exercising two, three, four times a week for up to an hour at a time. But what I did notice as I got older, and especially my early to mid 50s, um, was that the exercise I was doing was not helping me to lose weight and I was gradually getting fatter and fatter. I looked at other people in the gym and other people cycling on a cycle path with me, people who were about my age, men and uh, ladies alike, I noticed they were also gaining weight, not overall weight, but definitely weight around the area of the, the stomach and also the, the lower back. Um, I think like them, I was probably listening to the, the current zeitgeist at the time, which was to eat low fat um, foods and to maintain a low fat lifestyle. Um, as well as eating foods which were low in fat, like cereals and semi-skim milk, to try and avoid foods that were high in fat, red meat, eggs, butter, lard, etc. Uh, I was doing this religiously, but it was making no difference. I still continued to put on weight. So following research on YouTube, um, I started to be made aware of the low carb, high fat diet and the ketogenic diet, which completely turned the current thinking on its head, which was to eat real food, not processed food, but to eat food that were high in fat and get your body to use fat as an energy source as opposed to sugar or carbohydrates. Um, I particularly liked watching on YouTube Dr. Josh Axe and also um, Dr. Eric Berg, and I'll put links to their uh, videos in my description below. One of the things that did shock me when I did some research was about a character called Ansel Keys, who did uh, a study and then manipulated the data from his study to fit his hypotheses. Now his hypotheses, which still has not been proven, is called the lipid hypotheses, where his study showed, maybe skewed the data, but his study showed that countries that had a high fat diet were also prone to a higher rate of heart disease and heart attacks. So the mantra I tend to go with now is always follow the money. So when someone says to me something like breakfast is the most important meal of the day, um, I would question them as to why. Now I agree, breakfast is possibly the most important meal of the day. The, the meal that you break your fast with is extremely important. But who said it should be in the morning and who said it should be breakfast cereal? I think probably the, the cereal companies came up with that turn of phrase. Also, why is the American food pyramid the shape it is, with the base being the biggest component, filled with wheat, uh, cereals and pasta? Is it because perhaps the states are in the top four cereal producers and exporters in the world? Or is it just a, a coincidence? So the first step of my journey was to reduce the amount of carbohydrates that I was taking in mainly processed food, mainly sugar. Another thing I learned was that food is made up of three macronutrients. These macros are protein, fat, and carbohydrates. 
I also found out um, that if you don't have enough protein in your diet, you can become quite sick. If there's not enough fat in your diet, you can also become fairly sick. What I did realize was that if there are no carbohydrates in your diet, it has no effect on your body whatsoever. Your body will then learn to metabolize protein and fat and give you the energy that you need, the energy that you're not getting from sugar. Your body prefers sugar because it's far easier to metabolize and turn from food into uh, energy. So where am I now? Um, I'm gonna start taking NMN as part of my continuing strive for longevity and living a healthy lifestyle. Uh, one of the reasons I want to live a healthy lifestyle is I've got a young family. My son is seven and my daughter is uh, one and a half. And I want to be around for as long as possible, but not only around for as long as possible, I want to play as active a part as I can in family life. So as part of the process, I'm always going to be taking uh, measurements on a monthly basis. I will be taking my blood pressure, hopefully every day. I will be measuring my waist and I'll also be uh, weighing myself. As well as that, I'm going to take photographs, um, back of my hands and also my eyes, uh, as I think these are areas of body that do show aging. Uh, I'm also thinking about shaving off my beard, much to the delight of my wife, so I can take pictures of my neck, because I think the neck also shows uh, signs of aging. If you think, if you're going to follow uh, my progress and you think there are other things I can do, please put them in the description uh, below. Uh, I'll try to answer the questions and I'll try to bit, fit those into my regime also. Um, please feel free to subscribe and ask questions and I'll do my very best to answer them.